course, none other than the carryover champ, the wonderful Bronwyn Bishop is here, along with the wonderful Michael Kroger. Lovely to see you both. Now, there's a lot to get to, but let's try to pick our best ofs here, right? Um, so China tells us off for spending more money trying to defend ourselves against China. Amazingly, Richard Miles, the bloke who handed over his speeches to China before he gave them, uh, says that one of the reasons they're moving never-never years and never-never money around is again to combat China. What's really going on here? Well, the speech was a pea and thimble, wasn't it? It was, this is the most dangerous time we're going into, uh, and we're going to put all this money into us because China's a bad guy, but guess what? We're not going to put most of the money in, 90% of the money in, until way past the forward estimates when they've been out of office, thank Hopefully, Hopefully, for a long time. <laughs> I mean, it, it is... Seriously, in the meantime, they've cut $72 billion worth of, of already allocated spending. Wouldn't tell us where that money is. And then they get it out of the, the dropkick sidekick, who uh, counts for $40 billion. So where's the other $31 billion? Mm. Oh, um, classified. Yeah. I mean, seriously. What sort of defence minister is this? But what about this scenario where, again, uh, on the one hand, this is the, the great Penny Wong and the great Prime Minister managing the relationship, and presumably, according to China, the, the, the Richard Miles is now screwing it all up? When I listened to Penny Wong, and I heard, when I heard her speak about the two-state solution and what Australia was going to do, I was asking myself, who is the Prime Minister? Mm. Is this a joint, uh, joint venture between uh, Albanese and her? Um, do they play games to exclude this one this time, set this one up? Oh, look, we're really pro the US and we're really anti-China, but in the meantime, we're really cuddling up like there's no tomorrow. I mean, seriously. And what about ASPE? They're going to review its funding. Yep. That was one of the demands that the Chinese made, that they should be scrubbed because they criticised China. They are happy to be the heads of a vassal state. That's the only conclusion I can come to, where they will be licking, kissing the hand that flicks the whip. Well, but also, Michael, are we supposed to believe that the same people who don't have the courage to look the President of China in the eye and say, hey, about you guys sonaring our, our, our Navy divers that this is also the government that's going to somehow buy all the stuff to take on China should they come our way? Mm -hmm. Mate, it's very hard to know. I, I must admit to being a bit confused tonight by the Chinese. Um, maybe it's my advancing years and, and you can help me. I don't want to misquote... Uh, sorry to read from my phone, but I don't want to misquote the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Lin Wan. Uh, this is what he said. I've got to get this right, Paul. China is committed to peaceful development and a national defence po defense policy that is defensive in nature. We stay committed to the peace and stability in the Asian Pacific region and the wider world and pose no threat to any country. Well, Martin, that's what he said. Martin, oh, then, you got then, it right. Then, then, but then, hang on. Bronwyn, the reason I'm confused is CNN then have got a report saying China is helping Russia ramp up its defence industrial base at such a large scale that Moscow is now undertaking its most ambitious expansion in military manufacturing since the Soviet era as it continues its war against Ukraine. Uh, the, China, the, the support China is providing includes machine tools, drones, turbojet engines and technology for cruise missiles... Um, which Russia used to make propellants for weapons, said the officials. So either Mr Wan was <laughs> ill-informed himself <laughs> and overlooked the fact that the Chinese are supplying all these weapons and weaponry to Russia for its war against Ukraine, or he's just a horrid liar like most many most uh, spokespeople for toxic... Uh, repressive, dictatorial, communist regimes like the Chinese government is. So, mm. no, you can't believe a word he says. And um, the Australian government should be doing a lot more and, as Bronwyn said, should be doing a lot quicker than a 10-year forward estimate spending.